Hello and welcome. I'm Retro Ray, and today we'll be playing Fell Seal Arbiter's Mod, which is a uh, turn based tactical RPG. Which I was looking at my recent videos that I posted, and I've realized that like the last five of them were turn based tactical RPGs. And I was like, ah, maybe it's time to end this little trend. But I already had this game downloaded, so ah, whatever. I'll find something else to do next time. So. Yeah, I played this game a few years ago. I remember I really liked it, but I never, but I got like, I don't know, like 30% of the way through and then I stopped because of something. I can't remember what, but it was still a good game, so let's, uh, let's see what's going on. Maybe I'll remember why I liked it so much. My god, there are a lot of settings. Don't worry over much about these settings, as we'll be able to change the end game from the troops menu while not combat. Uh, if you're, no, let's veteran sure but a solid amount of experience playing tech later. this mode can be fairly difficult and might not be for everyone sure let's go with it in the dark days of centuries past oh voice actor another worldly beast known as the ma appeared in diora leaving ruin in its wake in this time of need, seven great heroes rose against the threat. The battle was fierce, but the heroes prevailed, and the beast was vanquished. In slaying the beast, the heroes gained the power of immortality. They formed the Council of Immortals to rule over the land and enforce order to prevent such a catastrophe from ever happening again. Oh, that was a beating heart. But powerful as the immortals may be, they are few. Thus, they created the Order of Arbiters to enforce their will and protect the land. As agents of the immortals, Arbiters wield absolute authority. They are judge, jury, and executioner. But in time, the Order of Arbiters has grown complacent and corrupted. Could a threat as dire as the ancient beast itself be looming over Tiora? Spoilers. As usual, people with power go straight to their head. That's old Joe Blow that suffers for it. Whoa. Yeah. Good work, Anodyne. You handled yourself well. Thanks, Captain. I don't feel I actually did all that much, though. Violent confrontation is always necessary or desirable. Negotiation is equally important skill for an arbiter. Of course, you're right, Captain. Are you sure Raynor knew the time we agreed to meet, Captain? Yes, he knows. But knowing Raynor, he's probably drunk. Did you hear that? I didn't. Help, please, anyone. It sounds like it came from the alley just ahead. Let's go. Oh. What the? What is the meaning of this, sir? Why on earth would you strike down an unarmed man? Explain yourself. Pesky witnesses. What a bother. You, hireling, earn your coin for once and dispatch these interlopers. Two on two. Gelly. Defeat Alphonse. Gotcha. Deployment in this phase, you can decide which allies you want to join the battle. Place characters. You know, controls at all times, bottom of the screen. At most times in the game, you can press the help button. Gotcha. Um, okay, I don't have anybody. Oh, I've got. What the? I've just got a random healer and a mender in my party, I guess. Okay. Uh, probably better to have the Mender, since Mercenary Mender, uh, but she's the main character. I really want to have her wasting turns. Whatever, let's just go with this. Weird, just, by lawful decree of the Arbiters, I order you to lay down your weapons and surrender. Now. You are an Arbiter? That is even more tiresome than I thought. I early exterminate these pests for me and you will receive a tidy bonus. 
I want Lord Alphonse. Sure. And it looks, like the, looks as though you're about to face your first real battle. Mm, yes, I see. I am ready, Captain. I'm sure you are, but why don't we quickly review the basic steps we said? Uh, combat is turn-based. Movement. Yep, yeah, she's got full move. Deals one times physical damage. The unit can attack. Take a single action every turn. Yeah. Now oh, that let's deal with this skill. Corecraft. Ability for the mercenary class. Field aid. Deal 85% physical attack damage and push the target away by one time. Now the train, this could be have interesting results. So if I push him. Well, yes, it also hurts his neighbor. Gotcha. Attack from side, deal more damage. The end of the turn, you know, you select facing. Basic, basic stuff. Uh, what's her physical attack? 74. So let's see, if I just... Can you whack him? Uh, not for... the amount of damage that's worth doing. So let's just have you kind of wait here. By the girl with the hammer at it. What you got? Force and strike. Uh, man. Oh wait, I shouldn't be killing him first. I should be killing the other guy. Enough, I yield. Oh, damn it, a wise choice. A bit late in the coming. Whale, that was easy. 737 GP and 264. Ability points, total for all participants. Ability points, ah. Vicarious learning, 18. 60 for benched units. Huh, interesting. Ladies, there you are. Well, it's about time. What's this? You didn't tell me we were going to have a party. Rainer, at last. Weren't we supposed to meet an hour ago? We could have used your help with these thugs. Well, not really. We kind of just beat his face in. No matter. This gentleman kept his company, and now we will show our gratitude by providing him with a nice, comfy cell. I cannot be serious. Do you not know who I am? I am a lord. Or Alphonse, to be precise. As a nobleman of the realm, I command you to release me. Slaying an unarmed man, attempting to eliminate the witnesses to your fall crime, and now resisting lawful arrest. There are limits to the privileges of nobility, as you are about to learn. Humph, an arbiter in the simple tent, I see. Very well, let us proceed with this, with the farce if we must. Bring me to the arbiter's chapter house for my trial. Are you suddenly struck dumb as well as simple? The knight's chill does not agree with me. Make haste and escort me to the chapter house, wench. Rainer, I've decided to make a small detour to Illister. We will personally deliver this nobleman to the main chapter house. Clever. I wonder how much sway the little lordling has in Illister. Very little, I suspect. Gather our people and make everything ready. We move at first light. On it. In order to ensure you are comfortable for the trip. Outrageous. Simply outrageous. Simmer down or I'll pull out a gag next. You probably should. This guy sounds like a friggin' wet bag. No one bothers watching washing the ra gags in between prisoners, mind you. Ew. Very well. What about the other one, Captain? Just a henchman. We'll drop him off at the local chapter house. No need to cart them both all the way to Illustrator. So, how far is Illister? Let's head for Illister now. I'm sure our imminent guest is eager to get started on his trial. Oh, okay, so we got a battle on the way. The journey may be treacherous, but we should stop the local guild here in Gellig and hire more hands for the road. An extra recruit would go a long way. Okay, so who do we got? Who do we got? Need new recruits? Uh, apparently. Change appearance. Okay. So these randos, we can change their appearance. Huh? Change the visual appearance of your units in this section. Uh, you can more. Gotcha. Okay. Let's see. We can make them up to level two. How many classes are there? There's mercenary, scoundrel, mender, wizard, mercenary, so four. Uh, do they have mercenary, scoundrel, mender, wizard? Mercenary. Okay. I like her portrait. Let's make her a scoundrel. 
skin tone. Eh, whatever, that's good enough. Uh, let's see. Random. Kyrene. Gotcha. Are there fruit? Yeah, sure. And there we go. Now I've got a mender, a wizard, a scoundrel, a mercenary. A mercenary mender. We have a lot of people. I don't think I needed to hire that scoundrel. Kyrie. Yes, I noticed. What's happening, Captain? Stand back, Anodyne. Oh. Spot it. Ah, well, you arbors are every bit as sharp as they say. But much friendlier. Well met, friend. <sighs> if you have business with us, out with it. Otherwise, step aside. Of course, I will make it quick for you. Hand over that nobleman traipsing along at your heels that everyone else can be out on their merry way, safe and sound. What a splendid idea. Quiet. Safety and sound is first exactly my own philosophy. But first, tell me, just what is it you want with our bejeweled guest? Funny you should ask. From what I've been hearing lately, I bet you arbors wouldn't mind a taste of this action yourselves, eh? Alright, here it is. This rich, rich fop will pay us handsomely for his freedom. Hand him over and 20% of the fee is yours to divide amongst yourselves. No one need ever know an arbor was involved in our little transaction. I get what I want, you get paid, and your re reputation remains as spotless as Illustre's peaks. Win, win, win. Is there a fourth win I'm missing? Well, what do you say? Do we have a deal? Uh, hell no. I don't know, Carrie. Only 20%? Captain? Enough. We haven't the time to exchange banter with these fools. As for you lot, attempted bribery, intimidation, interfering in arbiter business, serious crimes, the likes, the serious crimes, the kind that should see every one of you decorating the trees, Get out of our way, and I'll forget I ever saw your faces. That is my final and only counteroffer. Signal lets you accept before I change my mind. Psh, well, it do me luck. We just had to run into the one clean arbiter within 100 leagues. <whistles> Jump lively, boys. We still we must earn our prize today. No survivors, no witnesses. My thoughts exactly. Crossroads. And why do they have a dog? Alright, I can have three more. So let's see, we got a mercenary and a scoundrel. We got a puppy doggy. Oh, we got two puppy doggies. Another mercenary. And looks like another mercenary. Yep. So, like, three mercenaries and two dogs. Are there, like, chests or something? A suspicious trapdoor might just contain reinforcements. Anyone standing on it when it's meant to open will prevent it. Ah, interesting. Okay. Well, let's see. Might as well take the wizard, the mender, and the scoundrel. Let's move you over here. Get you a bit closer to the action. Uh, what do you have? You've got 77 attack. Abilities of the scoundrel class. You have steal GP. Steal money. Uh, not much use right now, so let's just move you forward. Uh, what are you? Oh, you're also a scoundrel, okay. Do you have Dirty hit. Deal 80% physical attack damage to the target and a 62% chance of inflicting blind. Comes as regular attack and will use the equipped weapons element and debuffs. Interesting. The dogs are on the prowl. And a die. Why don't I give you a quick refresher on items? Items don't work as they usually do in most games, so you probably should skip this tutorial. In combat, any character can use items simply by selecting the items command in their actions list. You will notice items have a count next to them. That count is the maximum amount that can be used in, a, in any single battle and is shared across the whole team. Sorry for every battle, item counts are automatically refilled to their maximum amount for free, so don't hold it. Oh, okay. So what items do I have? I've got two potions, a uh, revive, a rock, it's 25 damage, it removes all debuffs. Huh. Interesting. Oh, and you have holy men. You can't see it. That was all demons. Need to get you higher mender level, I guess. Boy, her movement sucks butts. Is there 
like a speed up option here? Oh, you jackass. How does MP work in this game? It looks like you charge MP every turn in a small area. Does it hit? It looks like it does indeed. There is indeed um, friendly fire. Is there a rock? No. Well, it looks like you're doing nothing. Wow, a whopping 9 damage. Yikes. Perry, mark you that sizable trap door. I think they might have reinforcements waiting below. Well spied. If one of us stands directly on it, that should keep it sealed against any new enemies. Agreed, but we must move quickly with plan to scare it. They can strike at any moment. Huh. Oh, gee. 20 damage? Eh. 30. Okay, crit. Nice. Oh. Uh, so what are the penalties for dying? 49 damage, or 49 HP. Hmm, not... Alright, I got a healer. Oh my god, only 30 HP? It does have quite decent range, so let's move you back a bit further. Uh, not... apparently, I can't. Um, what if I put you here? There we go. Let's try and keep him from dying, but... It doesn't seem like the most likely... Why would you hurt your own teammate? That just seems exceedingly dumb. Is like a really meaty head. Let's see. Uh, resistance. Okay. Can I get closer to this one? 25 damage, 31. Uh, I wish I could hit that guy who was about to die, but. Thorn. This is not looking good. Uh, and I might have just lost. Uh, Rainer gets to move next. So best to take him out. And let's see, I believe... A potion. 45. Wow. not in good shape right now. Ow, once again, you hit your own enemy. Seems extremely stupid. Gotta say, the weapons look... Oh, shit. The weapons look kind of dumb in this game. Uh, she might not be able to get close enough to you. Alright, good, because she needs it. I have a feeling there's not really a penalty if one of your characters dies. Except, of course, for, uh... The main character. What's her name? Oh, well, let's see. Uh, probably best to take out the puppy dog. Oh, man, that's a meaty hit. Okay, let's see. Back 
take you off a little bit. Especially events that happen during combat will display an event icon in the turn order list at the top. The event icon comes to the front of the turn order, the event will trigger. Oh, that must be reinforcements. Let's see what we got here. Out of 43, 38, dogs like half full. That was like turning into regular old melee. Whoops. I meant to change her direction, but oh wait. Oh my gosh. Weak. Oh, the dog's on the move again. That might be the end for her. Ah oh, well, she was just a level one. One of your allies has fallen. Fallen allies will, will be available again next battle, although they will have sustained an injury. The injury will drop all their stats by 10% until it wears off. Will wear off after they rest for a full battle, meaning they need to remain on the sidelines. Allies can also be revived in combat using spells and items, although they will still re receive an injury at the end of the combat. Gotcha. Ow. Now let's see. My minder gets to know who go next. So let's take him out. Shellac powder. Okay. Uh, Let's see. Do I have another potion? Do. Get out of here. Get out. Wonder attack by a cat. Did you get thorns just because I used fire up? Might as well just hit him with a rock, I guess. Oh, and no reinforcements. Oh, jeez. Save some experience for killing that guy for somebody else. Ow. Let's see, who needs it the most? Actually, you kind of do. Ah, uh, no, he does. Far, it's pretty basic. Get the heck out of there so we can light this guy up. Can you hit yourself? Uh, apparently, you can. All right, all right. That's uh, went all right. Oh, got a heavy crossbow. Seventeen hundred gold. Injury is one. The new girl, of course. This used to be an inn, quite a pros prosperous one if I remember right. Burned down in a marauder attack last year. No arbiters nearby to prevent it. You allude to that scoundrel's claim about Ar Arbor taking bribes. Nothing but a desperate attempt to talk their way out of a fight. I don't believe a word of it. And yet here we are, dragging that foppish nobleman around because we can't quite tr trust the local chapter house. That's a long enough break. We need to keep moving for to reach Illister before nightfall. I'll make sure everyone is ready. Hmm. I wonder if there's more classes. Do you need a breath after that anodyne? Uh, I guess it can't hurt. 
We're not in a rush. Thanks, Captain. Occasionally, a note on the world map will be marked with a exclamation symbol, indicating that an optional character event is available. Note that some events are time sensitive, may disappear as the story progresses. Well, let's see the event, I guess. That was exhilarating, Captain. But I also feel a bit sick. It will pass. When I was a child, I dreamed of becoming an arbiter like my mother. I also dreamed of fighting alongside her, but never that I would be wearing her armor. The armor you inherited, but the position you earned. Watch this one for me, would you? Yes, Captain. And there's the nameless wizard over there. Why would someone with your wealth and privilege stoop to murder? If that man had wronged you, I'm sure the court would be happy to hear your case. The court's manner of dispensing justice is too costly, or slow for my case, taste. I don't understand. That shocks me to my core. But what did he do to you? Let's just say he strayed from the rut which fate had gouged out for him. Still don't. It's like a pair of little girls I know. He interfered in the business of his betters, and quite soon afterwards paid the price for it. Perhaps one day you'll explain to me how such a powerful lord came to be the prisoner of a pair of little girls. Humph. Any levels once? Oh, so I can like do a free battle. Um, let's see. Let's save. And then, I think, troop menu. From this menu, you can arrange your units, including changing their equipment classes, abilities, etc. You can also access crafting, check your items, sort your units, and many more options. Gotcha. So let's see. Abilities. More abilities. It can learn new abilities for classes you have access to. You also need to spend AP to learn abilities. AP will be earned after your current selected class and not your subclass. will be earned for your current selected class. To participate in combat. The characters not in combat will achieve a small portion of the AP earned by those in combat. Additionally, everyone will learn a small amount of AP for classes their allies are using through the vicarious learning bonus. Huh, okay, so. Mender level 2. Okay, so for 150 AP, I can learn Power Strike, dealing 80% physical damage to the target and flight attack down. Or I can do the same thing except for mine down. Uh, let's go with Mind Strike, I guess. And I have enough left for another one. Counters with a regular attack, any offensive action taken against the character by an adjacent unit, or increase the character's max HP value by 25%. Uh, can I? I think I'll go Counter Attack. I'll under Counter, really. Oops. Do I have to, like, equip it or something? Oh, I have set ability. Duh. On top of the regular abilities, a unit has access to. On top of the regular abilities, a unit has access to through their current class. They can also select a secondary set of abilities taken from any other class they have access to. You'll automatically use the two passive abilities that your current class provides after you unlock them. Gotcha. Don't be afraid to experiment. Let's see. I wonder what the passives are. Let's see passives. You have no learn passives, and then you can have one counter ability. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, a knight. I can be a knight now? How many classes are there? What are my passives? Health expert. Is that a passive? Yeah, that's a passive. Uh, that allows the character to hold a melee two-handed weapon in one hand and to equip a shield regardless... Okay, that's awesome. I like... I want that. <laughs> that is really cool. Oh, there's a weapon for scoundrel. Interesting. So this is very much like a uh, Final Fantasy Tactics class system, it looks like. And I am digging it. Can I change my subclass? Class change. Okay. Oh, you can change your current class to any class currently available you have to access to. The new class will become available as you learn more abilities from your current classes. You can change classes of any time if you want. See, I could be a knight. There's also question mark class who wields a scythe. Requires knight four. 
Vampire Scoundrel 4. So, as far as Wizard 4, Mender 4, Knight 3, Wizard 3. Um, I think there are more classes than this, but I can only see these classes because I have the required classes unlocked. Just not at their required level. Like, all, all of these darked out classes are classes that require levels from classes that I already have unlocked. And nothing else. Wizard requires Mender 2. So let's see. Abilities, learn abilities, for scoundrel. Dirty hit or steal item? Oh, he's already got dirty hit. So fleet of foot. Right, fleet of foot removes root around the character. You know, fleet of foot will have increased movement of plus one. Or steal buffs. Have steal buffs from the target. Uh brain self. Shape cross. I think I'll go with Fleet of Foot. Okay, they didn't unlock any classes. Uh, okay. Alright, enough fiddling around in here. Wait, was there anything else? One of the characters has learned enough AP to person ability, though. Okay, gotcha. That little arrow increase. Let's see. Crafting. This is the crafting menu. Here you can use components that you've collected to create or upgrade items. The ready column shows how many recipes you can su successfully create with your current stack of components. Whenever you obtain a new component, new recipes may become available. Let's see. Oh. So it's similar. Okay. Huh. Hmm. So if I upgrade my potion. Uh, it'll heal 75 to 45, and I'll get three uses per battle instead of two. Interesting. Okay. That's cool. Not a stone. Huh. Huh. What about gear? Okay. Obviously, I can't create anything, but. Not yet, at least. Huh. And then there are gadgets? Not that it'll tell me what they are. It's something they require shellac powder. Badges. Craft badges that can be used to unlock secret classes. Oh! There, so there are six secret classes. Okay. What are these components? I'm sure that's something that, that's like way at the end of the game. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I like it. Oh, and then I can change the difficulty here. That means use items, have items, use arrive, use downing. Passive counter, enemy counter, added enemies, raw stats, enemy level seal scaling, random numbers, injury system. Also, you can just turn off the injury system. Well, that would be boring. Alright, let's see. Quick save, and then let's see what's going on in Illustrator, and then probably end this video. Because I don't think there's a battle here, I think this is just story. Why did you delegate the paperwork to Anodyne? That's what captains and trainings are for. Anodyne needs a break. The journey here has been much harsher than what I would typically expect of a trainee. In this particular package I wish to deliver personally. Ha! I half guessed that was the reason. <laughs> Greetings, Arbiters. How may I be of service? Hey there, Garden. We're dropping this prisoner off for trial on several charges, but primarily murder. Murder is a shame. Not often this kind get brought in alive. You are the captain. This one's in for murder. Take him to the lower level and make sure he makes it safely to our darkest, stinkest cell. Hmm. I promise you'll regret this entire charade bunch and sooner than you think. Get moving, you. Ha! Get dragged in. He's still surprisingly confident, I must say. His arrogance is breathtaking, true, but no longer any concern of ours. Go on ahead, Rainer. I will follow charges. Apologies, Captain, but that will have to wait. The Immortals have convened a council session, and by their order, all Arbiter Captains in the city must attend. 
Surely I could wait until I formally submitted the charges. I want this done properly. I'm sorry, Captain, but I cannot. This morning's edict was quite clear. This meeting is of the highest importance. All captains must appear without delay. But don't worry about the prisoner. He won't be going anywhere anytime soon. Alright, thank you, Guardsman. Come on, Raider. What is that? Looks like a beetle. Septimus. Is he like the seventh or something? I understand you've got some kind of announcement premise. Okay, yeah, I'm guessing their names are basically like numbered. They're just numbered. Let's get on with it if we have to. As everyone knows, while each of the council bears the title of immortal, we are not quite as long-lived as that. Every so often in the course of our reign, one of our numbers is replaced by a younger prodigy. The new immortal retains the title of his predecessor and adopts his colors, but he is nevertheless a new immortal altogether. Is this going somewhere? Septimus. Yes, yes, I know. But important, a critical, immortal business awaits me. Nothing less would tempt me away from this Congress, I swear. Sure, sure. Naturally. Tertia. So she's three? As I was saying, there comes a time for every mortal to surrender his mantle and step down. <laughs> now that time has come for me. Shock. That is certainly going to live in the... Oh, Rainer's a captain, too? Meaning I will have the opportunity to directly observe an immortal relinquishing his power? Oh, absolutely fascinating. But... Have to directly observe an immortal relinquishing... But didn't... Have you always been Korda? Why would... Get out of here. Get out of here, Cap. Get... Damn it. Cat by cats. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. How could he not have seen this before? Are you quite committed to this decision, Primus? As everyone knows I am the oldest remaining immortal alongside Quintus. I was present on the day we brought down the ancient beast, and I personally scribed the founding tenets of the Immortal Council. Yeah, so Corda, you're you're new. So, wouldn't you have witnessed it when you were appointed an immortal, you little beetle weirdo? What I'm getting at is this: it has been a very long journey, rewarding, yes, but also tiring. And the time has come for me to step down. Our trusted arbiter captains are no doubt eager to hear what follows. Quintus, would you kindly do the honors? Me? Yes, of course, Primus. If this situation only occurs about once a century, it will be it will be a mystery to most of you. When an immortal's time has come, a replacement is selected through a method called the Marked Pilgrimage. Every immortal marks a candidate of their choosing. The details of the pilgrimage are explained to the marked, but as they are of no import to you, I shall waste no time on that. What should be of great interest to Arbors, however, is that each marked is an immortal candidate and as such is bound by no laws for the duration of their pilgrimage seems sketchy. You may render assistance unto them if it is requested, but must not otherwise interfere in their business. I believe that is everything. Are we done with surprise announcements for today, then, Primus? Excellent. Captains, you are dismissed. Primus is as old as the Council itself. It will be strange to see another assuming his title. What is that thing? I suppose the day must come for each of them, and he has been at it longest. Though he does seem surprisingly fit, especially in contrast to Quintus. Oh, well, there will be plenty else to worry us soon enough. From what I've heard about the marked pilgrimage, chaos follows closely on its heels. Wait, what's this? Decided to take the air. 
Did you, Alphonse? Because I don't think it will agree with you. Well, well. The nosy wench and her hired gorilla come to see me off. We're here to see you return to your cell, and promptly. I can't believe it. One of the immortals has chosen you to be a marked? You are much sharper than you look. I grant you that. But indeed, only the absolute finest are selected as candidates for the exalted rank of immortal. It's only natural that my name would end up at the top of that list. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must hasten on my pilgrimage to Satina and thereafter my imminent ascension to godhood. We're just going to let him go? We are the Council of Judgment. He is above the law now. Untouchable. No, I can't believe he... that... him. He was made a mark by the Council. Probably Septimus. Not to judge somebody by their look and their name, but... He yeah, had the look of somewhat evil. I need some time to think on this. Spread the word. We leave tomorrow at first light for Satina. I have a feeling trouble is going to find us on the way. Alright. We should visit the store before we depart for Satina. We could certainly use an upgrade to some of our equipment. Shop. Let's get you outfitted. A plow. Oh, that's a scythe. Okay, let's see here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, by one, two, three, four, five, so 32 classes. Does this include the six mystery classes? Huh, that's a lot of classes. 32. That's a lot of classes. Huh. Huh, interesting. It's got me excited. I want to know what these classes are. Good lord, there's a lot of different weapon types. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 different weapon types. Q. And then just like, okay, and then light, medium, and heavy armor. Demigod. Finger guards to avoid unlucky wounds. Defense. Just, just a smidge of defense. Uh, looks absolutely and completely worthless. Uh, prevents poison. And prevents blind. And gives three speed. Huh. Okay. Huh. Okay, well. And that's gonna be the end of the video. Uh, yeah. This, uh, well, the story's not gonna be as good as, like, Final Fantasy Tactics. It does certainly feel... It, it kind of looks like Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced, but it's got, like... And it's got, like, a similar class system, and honestly, I love it. And there's gonna be a lot of grinding, but... You know what? That's fine. I, I'm fine with grinding. So, yeah. If uh, you like the video, you know, leave like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day, guys.